Hi, I'm Seamus Mullen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be preparing one of the most iconic dishes from Spain, gazpacho, a chilled tomato soup. There are as many recipes for gazpacho as there are cooks in Spain. This one features piqual olive oil, one of the principal oils from Spain. Piqual is a little spicy, it has a nice fruitiness and goes very well with the tomatoes. I would say the most important staple in my kitchen is olive oil from Spain. To make the gazpacho, all we need is a very good quality blender and a few simple ingredients. I'm going to start by adding the tomatoes. We'll pour these guys in. You can just rough chop them first. Then I'm going to add some bell pepper. This goes in as well. A little bit of cucumber. And then it's not traditional to use watermelon, but I like to use watermelon to sweeten it up a little bit. It goes very well with the olive oil. So that'll go in as well. And then garlic. This is about a clove of garlic. You can use a little more if you like to have a little bit more of a garlicky, spicy flavor. Add that in. And for acidity, I'm going to use cider vinegar, which is a pretty neutral vinegar. It's got a nice acidic punch to it. All that stuff goes in. We're going to put the lid on and process it. Okay, the gazpacho is processed. It's not too processed. I like a little bit of texture. Now what we're going to do is we're going to season with some salt and pepper. And then with the motor running at a low speed, I'm going to drizzle in the piqual olive oil. Piqual olive oil is extremely high in polyphenols. I like to season, I like to kind of eyeball it. I'm going to add a couple of pinches of kosher salt and some fresh ground pepper. And on the lowest setting, just barely running, we're going to go ahead and drizzle in the olive oil. There we go. You'll see it incorporates nicely into the gazpacho. It gives it a beautiful color. All right. Perfect. Now all we're going to do is take this delicious gazpacho. I'm going to pour it into a carafe. You can see it's still got some texture. It's not really like a puree. It's a little bit chunky. And we're going to put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to chill down. All right, so it's nice and chilled, and we're ready to serve the gazpacho. Pour a little bit into a bowl. That right, looks great. Beautiful color. And then finish it with another drizzle of the piqual olive oil. It's beautiful. So there you have it, traditional gazpacho with piqual olive oil.